My beloved child, this day I want you to know that whatever circumstances led you to this moment, I ordained this time for us to connect. Be open and ready to receive all that I, your loving Father, have for you. I see your heart, dear one, and I know the deepest desires within you. Faith starts small like a mustard seed, but I desire to enlarge your faith and take it to new heights. The level of faith you have now may be enough for this season, but I am calling you to go deeper with me, to elevate your faith so you are equipped for all I have planned for you. You will need bigger faith as you encounter greater challenges. I do not want you wavering when the enemy threatens you. I want your faith to remain unshakable no matter what comes against you. Even now, I am strengthening your faith so you can stand firm through every storm. Do not doubt my promise to develop your faith. I am faithful to complete the work I began in you. When I bless you, be quick to give me thanks and honor. Whether I grant you peace, healing, or provision, recognize that I am the true source. Do not credit yourself or anything earthly. Every good gift comes from me, your Father in heaven, who abundantly provides for my children. My blessings are by grace alone. The foundation of my work in you is my Holy Spirit. The promised land I have for you is not temporary. It is the eternal dwelling place I desire you to inhabit all your days. But you must first journey through the seasons of the wilderness. Take comfort in knowing your wilderness season is ending. I declare your transition into the promised land begins now. You will soon testify of all I have done for you. The difficult season you endured is giving way to joyful promise. As you leave the wilderness, I want you to remember my instructions. I will bring them to mind at just the right time. Write them on your heart and mind so you can thrive and prosper in the promised land. Let my decrees guide your every step and decision. Continually look to my teachings, for they lead to abundant life. Engrave my wisdom in your heart where it will keep you through hard times. I will never abandon you. The wilderness prepared you for this new season. Do not fear what lies ahead, for I go before you preparing the way. The land is ready and waiting. It has been waiting for you. You will cultivate good soil that yields a bountiful harvest. Rejoice greatly, for the wilderness accomplished its purpose. Your faith was tested but did not fail. You remained rooted in my word. Now you will bear lasting fruit. Remember, it is only by my power you are able to thrive and advance my kingdom. Never forget that I am your source. A branch severed from the vine quickly withers. Stay connected to me and you will flourish. I am opening doors and making a way where you could never go alone. My hand is bringing increase into every area of your life. Walk carefully in this new season, my child. Seek only my will and way. Guard your heart from pride and self-reliance. Give me the glory in all you do. I delight in blessing my children, but will not share my glory. Remain humble and keep your eyes fixed on me. Great influence is coming. Use it only to build others up and point them to me. Represent your Father well to all people. I am entrusting you with riches, not for personal gain, but for the good of many. Use what I give wisely, so my light shines through you. I am bringing forth the promises I spoke over you. What I declared will come to pass in proper time. Until then, keep looking up to me not those around you. Do not grow weary or compare yourself. Each of my children walks the path I choose at the pace I set. Your journey is unique. Delight yourself in me alone, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Wait patiently on my timing. Rest knowing I can do more than you ask or imagine. 
The trials of the wilderness have prepared you for great blessing, that you may be a blessing to many. The promise I spoke will surely come, but now I call you to a new level of trust, relying completely on me. I am your source, your provision and protection. I long for you to engrave my word on your heart. Do not merely listen and forget what you heard. Internalize it. Let it change you from within. As the psalmist said, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. As you ingrain my truth into your innermost being, it will shape your thoughts, words, and actions. You will naturally begin to walk in my ways. I will set you apart for a season to establish my ways in you apart from distractions. It is a period of learning to truly follow my commands wholeheartedly, not just outwardly, but with your entire being devoted to me. For forty years in the wilderness, I humbled my people, proving what was in their hearts and whether they would obey me. I promise to supply your needs, but often only give what each day requires. Your daily bread, manna from heaven, it's just enough to sustain you, no more. This was intentional, to teach reliance not on your own resources, but on me alone. I wanted them to learn that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word from my mouth. You are upheld not by food or possessions, but by my word which sustains all creation. As you experience my timely faithfulness, your trust will grow. You will learn your help comes from me regardless of circumstances. This transition from living by sight to living by faith trains your soul to find rest in me, not what I can give you. My word becomes life, treasured above all else. You learn that as long as you have me, you have everything you need. Living by daily bread focuses you on today's needs. I promise to care for each day as it comes. This breeds contentment in every season, rather than chasing more. It keeps you present, trusting me completely where you are. As you walk through the wilderness, humbly relying totally on me, you internalize my words. You shall not lack anything good. Bring your needs to me daily in prayer, releasing the outcome. Refuse anxiety about tomorrow, thanking me for past grace and trusting future faithfulness. Fix eyes on heavenly things, my presence, promises, and kingdom, not obsessing over earthly lack. Cling to my word as true sustenance. Let your soul find nourishment in my love. This nourishment often comes through meditating on scripture. Take a verse, memorize and repeat it throughout your day. Let it soak into your spirit like rain on thirsty ground. Whisper it as a prayer when anxious or overwhelmed. As I instructed Joshua, keep my word on your lips, meditating day and night to carefully follow it. Then you will prosper and succeed. Speak scripture aloud to renew your mind, drowning out fearful or negative thoughts. You live not by bread alone, but by every word from my mouth. My word is the bread from heaven feeding you in your deepest hunger. It is milk and meat to your soul. As you feast on scripture through the wilderness, my truth takes root within. It builds faith and sustains you through trials. When the season ends as all seasons must, you emerge refined and prepared for my promises. With my word engraved upon your heart, you can fully live out my kingdom and spirit. Having learned to walk by faith, not sight, you are ready for greater spiritual authority. Having embraced provision for each day, you can now steward true abundance with wisdom and perspective. Your trials have trained you to minister my grace to others. What the enemy meant for harm, I redeem for good, as you now live to pour out my word engraved within. As I told the Israelites when their wilderness wandering ended, 
I brought you out of Egypt in slavery with my presence and mighty power, feeding you manna in the wilderness forty years, and teaching you to live in obedience to me. The same mighty hand that parted the Red Sea to deliver you remains outstretched still. I who sustained you with bread from heaven see and know your needs. I who fed your soul, my word will complete this good work begun in you. You who have walked through the refining fire will emerge, prepared for all I have prepared, a vessel into which I can fully pour. My child, take heart, for I have not forgotten you, nor the plans and purposes I have for you. I am growing you, stretching you, preparing you for greater things ahead. The harvest will come in due time if you do not give up. I know it is not easy, but... I am with you each step of the journey. Keep your eyes fixed on me, your loving Father. I call you to a new level of generosity, my child. As I have generously cared for your needs, share what I have given you with others. When you face lack, continue to sow seeds of faith. Donate to those in need, invest in my work and my people. Give freely, just as you have freely received from me. Though you may not see instant results, your generous seeds will multiply in due time. As you water others, I will send showers of blessing upon you. The generosity you have sown will grow into an abundant harvest. For as you honor me with your first and finest fruits, I will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out more than you can contain. I will bless you in return with prosperity and provision that will overflow. Keep following my leading step by step through this season, my beloved. I know the way through the wilderness. Stay close by my side. Lean your full weight upon me. I will bring you through to the promised land I have prepared for you. A broad and beautiful place of purpose, influence and blessing. Your trials have prepared you well. You now have a depth and richness to share. As you have received freely from me, freely give to others. Continue to sow seeds of faith and generosity, watering dry ground, investing in my work. That which you have sown in tears you will reap with joy. My child, nothing can thwart my purposes. Through trials you discover my faithfulness. Hardship is an invitation to trust me deeply, beyond what makes sense. My ways are higher, my thoughts greater. But my word remains true. My covenant with you is everlasting, sworn before the foundation of the world. I declare an open door no one can shut. I clear the path. I go before you and prepare the way. The same Spirit who raised Christ from death resides in you, reviving dreams and unlocking destinies. Where you see barren ground, I see promise and potential. All things are possible with me. Do not despise small beginnings. Mustard seeds become mighty trees. A spark ignites a blaze. One act of obedience leads to the next. Each step ushers you deeper into my purpose. Moving forward requires faith, but boldness attracts breakthrough. Cultivate generosity. Scatter seeds of kindness. Give, and it will be given back. Press down, shaken together, running over. Open your hand wide to the poor, and I will satisfy your needs in drought. I own the cattle on a thousand hills. All gold and silver are mine. Trust in my provision by sowing generously. Bring your first fruits to my altar. Offer a tithe of all I provide and see heaven open. Test me in this and witness my faithfulness. I do not need your offering, but your gift honors me. It activates blessing. It breaks the spirit of lack off your life. Give freely, for you have freely received. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Cease your striving 
and know I am God. I never slumber. I sustain the universe through my word. Rest in my completeness. Be still. Release control. Abide in my presence. I am doing a work in the quiet when nothing seems to change. I make all things beautiful in time. Do not judge by outward appearance. My power works mightily in weakness. Those overlooked by men hold great honor with me. I see inherent value and limitless potential in all my children, whether prominent or marginalized. Befriend the outcast, defend the vulnerable, and you defend me. Do not rejoice in another's downfall. I leave the ninety-nine to pursue the one, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Remember from where I saved you, the depths of your own rebellion. My mercy draws you to repentance. Make allowance for others' faults. Forgive as I forgave you. Above all else, love. Let it be your aim, your crown, your legacy. Express my love lavishly, without reservation, no matter the cost. My love in you brings transformation. It melts bitterness. It covers sins. It ignites purpose. Love never fails. Do not fear, my child. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? I go before you into battle. No weapon formed against you will prosper. I lift up a standard when the enemy comes like a flood. You are more than a conqueror through my love. My angels heed my voice, shielding you in all your ways. When you pass through the waters, I am with you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. My presence brings comfort in loss, healing in sickness, freedom in captivity. I make a way when there seems no way. My grace is sufficient for all your needs. You can do all things through my strength. In your weakness, my power is revealed. Your harvest is ripening. You will reap bountifully what you have sown in tears. I turn mourning into dancing, beauty from ashes, the wilderness into springs of water, barrenness to fruitfulness, despair to hope. I make all things new. The promised land awaits. I have prepared a rich inheritance for you, a kingdom without end. You are named a co-heir with my son. Heaven celebrates your arrival home. Enter into the fullness of joy. Receive the crown laid up for you, reserved in eternity past, yet ornamented uniquely for you. Well done, my good and faithful one. Well done. My child, you have always belonged to me. I knew you before time began, fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in the womb. My artistry is displayed in your life. Your worth was bought at infinite cost. While you were still a sinner, I reconciled you through Christ's blood. I delight in you, how I sing over you. My child, nothing can separate you from my love. I am for you. Who can stand against you when I am on your side? My eyes are fixed on you, my ears attuned to your cry. Even your faintest whisper I hear and respond. No need is too small for my concern. Every desire finds shelter in my care. I am the everlasting God. I do not faint or grow weary. My understanding is unlimited. The sum of all wisdom resides in me. I hold the universe in my hands. I spoke light into being. With a word I calm the raging storm. I lead kings and nations according to my will. I alone reveal interpreted mysteries. Everything in heaven and earth submits to my rule. Yet I know you by name. I have shared my plans with you. I have gifted you and appointed you to bear lasting fruit. You matter deeply to me, precious child. Our fellowship is life's highest privilege. Intimacy with me is your ultimate joy. Abide in me and you will thrive. Dwell in my unchanging love. Take root like a tree by streams of water. Be nourished by the bread of life. 
drink from the living water that satisfies eternally. Come feast at my table. Listen to my voice above all others. Let my presence be your dwelling place. Only one thing is needed, my child. Choose the better portion, as Mary did. Pursue my presence above all else. Make time to be still with me. Declare your need for me. Hunger for more of me. And you will be filled with joy unspeakable. The path of life is found in me alone. Walk in my wisdom and increase learning. Seek my will in all you do. Consecrate each moment as holy. Allow my glory to guide you. Be led by my spirit into all truth. He will teach you all things and remind you of my words. Listen for my whisper. Watch for my signposts. Follow my commands. And you will finish your race strong. I am for you, not against you. Even discipline proves my love. As a good father, I train and correct you to reveal righteousness in your inmost being. I prune so you can bear more fruit. Refinement makes you shine. So let endurance complete its work in you. Trust my timing and process. I never promised ease in this life, but I have overcome the world. Do not fear affliction. The testing of your faith is precious. My power is perfected in your weakness. Cling to me, the anchor that holds firm. Hope in me, the rock that cannot be shaken. Rest in my sovereignty. None can hinder my purposes. You are mine, chosen and sealed by my spirit. I call you by name. I accept and approve you through my beloved Son. In him, your righteousness is established. His work has made you forever holy and blameless. You are complete in him. Lack nothing. His grace is sufficient for every need. My child, you have always belonged to me. Our story is unfolding just as I designed long before time began. The days ordained for you are coming to pass, each one finely crafted. My vision for your life will be fulfilled as you walk with me. Stay on the path of life I have prepared for you. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Together, we will make beauty from ashes. We will unlock destinies. We will see dreams redeemed, hearts ignited. Partner with me to build my kingdom. Lend your hands to bless and serve. Invest in relationships. Scatter seeds of faith. Nurture unity, restore hope to the hopeless, and live a legacy that long outlasts you. I make all things new. Not even death can stop my restoring work. The same power that raised Jesus empowers you. I have implanted eternity in your heart, what you have sown into. My kingdom will endure forever. The earth and its works will pass away but my word remains unchanged. Hold on to hope. Persevere with patient endurance. The crucible refines. The weight deepens trust. The longing intensifies delight. At the proper time, I cause new life to burst forth. Suddenly, a breakthrough. Promise fulfilled. Wholeness restored. Watch for my wonders. They are coming. I am leading you out of this wilderness, beloved. I am your shield of victory. I go before you to defeat every enemy and open the way into your inheritance. The giants are but bread for you. No sorcery can withstand you, for you march in my authority and power. It is finished. Your promised land awaits. Soon you will cross into the land prepared for you a place of abundance where you will lack no good thing. I am bringing you out of the wilderness never to wander in lack again. Now you will flourish and fulfill every purpose written for your life. My plans for you are for good and not evil, to give you hope and a future. The old limitations and fears will continue to fall away. What once intimidated you will no longer have sway over you. 
Strongholds of lack and scarcity in your mind will fade in the light of my lavish provision. Confidence in my sovereignty will replace all anxieties about the future. I am bringing you out of constriction into enlargement. Relationships that drained your soul in past seasons will give way to life-giving connections I have divinely ordained for you. These new and nurturing bonds with others will reveal more of my heart of love. They will expand your capacity to give and receive affection. Run toward the depth and richness I desire for you to experience in covenant love. Expanding influence will require deeper humility. Hold loosely to Earth's treasures, keeping your eyes fixed on eternal rewards. As I entrust you with greater resources, be quick to freely bless others. Be a conduit of my generosity, not just a reservoir. Be a channel that spreads my agape love everywhere you go. Where I guide, provide. Where I direct, pour out. When adversity comes, do not lose heart or faint. Lean wholly on me. I will renew your strength when you wait upon me. Bring your disappointments and delays to me. My vision is greater and will prevail. I cause streams in the desert right when thirst seems unquenchable. I remind you of the promise of dawn just when the darkness of night falls heaviest. You are becoming a steward of hope for the downtrodden. Your voice will inspire the next generation. Your courage in daring to believe will ignite radical faith in those who have settled for too little. You will be a seeker and pursuer of truth, cultivating intimacy with me. And your life of devotion will point others to their own promised land. This blossoming I am doing in your inner life will soon manifest outwardly for others to behold. As you walk with me in close fellowship, you will fully inhabit the land I have promised you. That which I declared over you, I will faithfully bring to pass. You can trust my word. You can rest in my promises. Together we will silence the voice of the accuser. People will respect the one who sent you. Systems will change around you. Opposition will revert to assistance through my favor. You will lack no influence, connection, or provision required to fulfill all I've written for you. My ordained open doors for you cannot be shut. I have already prepared a table for you in the presence of skeptics, where you will enjoy supernatural abundance even amidst contention and lack. I have secured favor and influence for you in places you've not yet accessed or discerned. Gifts and talents I've planted within you will make room for you and bring promotion. Remember, all you will accomplish flows from my spirit's power at work within you, not your own natural strength and ability. You will succeed not by human might or strategies, but by my spirit. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. Continue to invest yourself in the living waters of my presence. Abide in the streams of my spirit found where my anointing resides. As you devote yourself to my word, speaking forth truth and aligning your thoughts to my promises, you will experience transformation from the inside out. The renewing of your mind precedes external change, but as you are changed by my spirit, your habits, relationships, and environment will also shift. You will gain greater discernment to embrace light and reject darkness. Your confidence will arise to no longer accept less than my best. You will grow into the sacred calling and destiny I have spoken over you. This blossoming occurs secretly at first, in the depths of your life with me, but soon it will burst forth for all to see as you fully become the person I designed you to be from the start. My precious child, continue leaning on me, your good shepherd. Keep following as I lead you along paths of righteousness for my name's sake. 
I will prepare a table for you in the presence of all those who doubted, and you will dwell in my house forever. My delight is to shower you with honor and blessings reserved for those who love me with abandon. Keep walking with me, and you will see. The story I am telling through your life has just begun, but soon, multitudes will see my glory revealed through you and find their way home to me. Their hearts will resound with gratitude for how I used your life to write Redemption's song. The harvest is coming. The wilderness has refined and prepared you. Now go forth boldly into all I have for you, my beloved child. Explore our new channel, Prayer Helps for daily Christian inspiration, prayers, and devotions. We aim to uplift and inspire you daily. Visit the link to discover more.